Oh man. Get out. What do they do? Get out. Simp. <laughs> As a Christian woman, I just have to say, I'm not looking for a knight in shining armor. <laughs> Imagine sitting there. You want to be a wife. You want to be loyal. How how can you do that if you're practicing? You know every week you're not practicing cooking you're not practicing mental health you're not practicing how to talk to him how to cater how to be submissive and how to talk to him in a nurturing way you're practicing baby that's not the same thing but that's what if that's not what you want what if you don't want to be uh, i'm only speaking on women who like want to be wives all the other of and all those type of girls i'm not talking about not you but like in general be honest Based. one of us is 46 and the other one is 22 but who's who yeah did you know that i can see you yeah, you're the 40-something year old. You may be looking good for your age, but you don't look that good to pass for a 20 year old, okay? Oh boy. 15 months ago, I was told I could no longer volunteer at my children's school because an anonymous email sent photos of me in from, you can probably guess which site. Two days ago, I filed a suit with my lawyers to fight them on this because no parent should ever have to be told because what they do in their private life, an anonymous email being sent in, that they are not allowed around their children when they are at school, when they have done absolutely nothing wrong. Do not want any other parent to ever experience this or any other child to ever feel the sadness my children have felt during this whole thing. Completely zero accountability. Absolute zero. The school finds out she does OF and bans her from the school. They're not banning you from your kids, they're banning you from seeing other people's kids. And then she says, I hope no other parent has to go through this or experience something so awful. They won't have to, because most parents don't do OF. Do I think the rise of feminism causes single women to be single? The short answer is yes. Feminism started out as a great thing. Hey, we want to work. We want to be able to vote. Those things make sense. And then the revolution happens well we're equal so if a man can do it i can too just because you can do something doesn't mean that you should do that thing and now we are the product of that but it's gotten so extreme to the point that all i see from are anger hatred bitterness nothing that actually helps us it's become more about hating men than uplifting women of that one guy that she knows no matter what he's gonna be there for her 1000 percent of the times you feel me no matter what the f she does she has that one guy to fall back on. Yeah, if you're that guy, I'm listen, I'm starting to tell you. And if you have a girl, she has that guy. Either way, you're not winning and you're not winning this. Facts. The emotional tampon. You're there for her when Chad isn't. You're such a good guy. You're such a good listener. A week later, she stops talking to you and gets with Chad again. And the cycle continues. So this is the perfect response of a girl cancels plans on you. And that response is, wait for it, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Zero reaction. Put on red receipts. Still go out that same night and post it to your story. Boom player move smooth criminals it's one thing you miss about your ex <laughs> how are you putting up with this bro walk away go out and get some milk just like her dad oh would you rate this person out of 10 i feel like i can't say that why i feel bad i feel bad too but probably go four four what would you rate yourself out of 10 you know i feel like i'd have to give myself like an eight eight okay okay what would you rate this person out of 10? You're all good. Is that a man? <laughs> Brutal. Let's say you had a man and he wanted you to dress more modestly coming to Countdown. What would you tell him? No. No. Absolutely not. Never change for a man. <laughs> no. Do you? And if he's too insecure, if he's too insecure, that's on him. I have a man. He's not here and I'm still dressing the way I want to be. Now, let's say, let's say you guys are like serious and it's been about a year and he's the one and he's like, baby, I would really appreciate it if you cover up. What would you tell him? Um, then he definitely wouldn't be the one because why is he still telling me what to wear and how I'd to dress? Ask him to strip with me. Yeah, I I think I would probably break up with him. I say yeah. single for a reason. I'm single for a reason. Let's say you had a son and he wanted you to change coming to the countdown. What would you tell your son? <laughs> Clearly, you have no input on what I do. I birthed you. You're you came out of me. Don't tell me what to do. Big yikes! Big yikes! Hey Siri. Look up the definition for recreational use only. Yep, 
These girls came up. Makes sense. Hi, nice, nice to meet you. you. Um, so I know we don't have much time, mm -hmm. so I was wondering if I could try something new. Sure. So I'm part of an East African religion, straight out of Ethiopia, so Sukhan. Sukhan? Yeah. Mm. And I was wondering if I could recite like a Sukhanese um, prayer for you. Okay. Awesome. So if you close your eyes. That's what I meant to be speaking. Mm. Jay. Jaylene. Jay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> what the f? Bro. <laughs> what the f was that, dude? How? What the? Dude, that was the cringiest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Man, this poor girl. I actually feel bad for this chick. She sits down. She's pleasant. She accepts this, whatever this is, this pink fingernailed mother. She sits through the whole thing, and then she gets rejected. It's the pink nails, man. They tell you everything you need to know. I saw this on Erico, obviously. When you hook up with your boy best friend and destroy the friend group. Big yikes, my guy. But he's just a friend. Stop. You're being insecure. <laughs> I'm here in Thailand. You about to hear the gym session? I need to go back to Thailand, man. Oh, man. Tell me three positives that you get from going to the club. Free alcohol. Oh, God. Yeah. Okay. Get Good drunk. music. Oh, God. And being with my friends. You can do that at home. You can do that at home. Yeah, but can the light, yo, yo, the atmosphere, you, everything. I can you fucking can make that, that at home. I, I will can, do that will right set now. set it up for you at home. Okay, no, guys. We don't go out to go like that. That's cat. That's cat. Yes, it is. Because you're not going, you're not dressing up for your friends like that. You're not. You're dressing up for guys. You really think? A woman that's single at 34 is the same as a guy that's single at 34? Yeah. How? I look 34. I mean... <laughs> they're not the same. It's different. They're not the same at all. At the same. Day, I take care of myself. A 34-year-old guy is not the same as a 34-year-old woman, and the reason why is because the things that make a woman attractive are youth, beauty, fertility, and chastity. The things that make a man attractive are success, ambition, confidence, like you mentioned earlier, status. All these things take time to acquire. So a guy that's 34 versus a girl that's 34 are not the same. A woman has lost her value by the time she's 34, no offense. Versus a man, if he does the work, his value is going up. So it's not the same. Th th that is biological fact. Nah, okay. I agree. Universally I speaking, agree. here's the thing. This is a fact. Men between 18 to 60, they were polled. What do you find the most attractive? Women between 18 to 24. Brutal facts. Got out fresh and fit. Ah, gracias. ¿Qué pasó ahora? What the f What am I watching, bro? What? What did I see? What just happened? <laughs>